When I grew up in the 80s, a leather jacket was the most coveted piece of anyone's wardrobe. Everyone wanted one, and the people who had them knew they had it going on. They were expensive and luxurious, and they had a, a BA vibe to them. Then the shopping malls came along, and with them stores like Wilson's Leather. Now, not only did Wilson smell like heaven, but they brought the cost of owning a leather jacket down to a level where a lot more people could get one. Today, there's another player on the affordable leather jacket field, and they're called Angel Jackets, and their mission is, quote, to make luxurious leather goods accessible to everyone while maintaining a quality, perfection, and affordability. And they do that basically by selling most of their jackets right around that $200 mark. Angel sent me one of their Reeves jackets to check out. And this one is modeled after the jacket that Keanu Reeves wore in the first John Wick movie. This jacket has a smooth polyester lining, hand warmer pockets, and three, no kidding, three inside pockets. It was made from lambskin leather in Pakistan, and mine was actually shipped directly from Pakistan as well. I am five foot eight and roughly 165 pounds, and I got mine in a medium, and it fit pretty good, though I might have appreciated just a little bit more room in the shoulders. So is this jacket and other jackets from Angel Jackets really a blessing for those looking to get a leather jacket at a low cost, or should it be retired? We're going to talk about that as I cover the good, the bad, and the bottom line of the Reeves jacket. But just in case you're new here, I'm Lee, and I review products from lifestyle brands to help you make more informed decisions when you're spending your hard-earned dollars. If that sounds helpful to you, then I want to invite you to tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss future videos. Okay, let's start off with the good of the Reeves jacket. Now, if you're someone who's looking for an entry-level leather jacket and your budget is around $200 and oftentimes less, and you're a big fan of this style, then this one might be right for you. In fact, Angel Jackets has uh, quite a few sort of character-inspired designs, and so it's a great place to check if you want to look like your favorite movie tough guy or girl, or maybe you are even looking for the ultimate cosplay, it might be a good place to look. Now, it is important to keep in mind what the Reeves is not, I think, as we move into this. It's, it's not a heritage leather jacket. It's not made from American cow hide that's been crafted by a master tailor. And when you understand those things when looking at them, um, it's a really good buy at this price point. It's a comfortable jacket and actually even has adjustable wrist straps and waist straps to tailor the fit to your liking. Also, all of these pockets make it really easy to keep your everyday carry on you. The Reeves jacket does not have any installation, but I would say it should keep you warm even down into the low 30s, depending on what you're wearing underneath it and has great wind resistance as all leather jackets do. Also, I noticed that it has some pretty good manufacturing. I, I really couldn't find a stitch out of place. Uh, plus, I really liked the distressed appearance of the leather. I thought they did a great job with that. And the leather was also um, thicker than I expected it to be. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, when I tried this jacket on, my first thought was, I'm too old to wear this jacket. <laughs> so here's just a few seconds of my friend Dan wearing this jacket, and he's 20 years younger than me. So what do you think? Am I too old for this jacket? Drop me a comment below. All right, let's talk about the bad real quick. Like I mentioned before, the shoulders were a bit snug on me, and so when I zipped it up, I felt like it gave me a little bit of a boxy appearance. Um, but that probably had more to do with the fact that I have strangely broad shoulders for my size. <laughs> also, um, the leather was a little bit stiff, which is to be expected with a new jacket. And so I did beat it up a little bit, and it seemed to help. 
bring these shoulders down for me a little bit. The only real complaint about this jacket is I'd have to say that the zipper is a little bit light for my taste. It is a YKK zipper, but it's just not as heavy as I would have preferred and as I do prefer on leather jackets. The other thing is, even though I really appreciate all these interior pockets, the seams of the pocket seem to leave sort of a vis visible kind of bulge or something on the outside of the jacket. And in the sort of unusual column for this jacket, as I noticed that there's no branding on it, um, it does come with a tag that says real leather. And on the inside of the jacket, the tag on the inside and the collar, it doesn't say angel's jackets. It just says real leather, which isn't necessarily good or bad. I just found that to be in the unusual column. The bottom line is that the Reeves is a pretty solid $200 jacket. It has some great details. It has tons of pockets and it's pretty cool looking. Um, even if I'm might be a little too old for it. You have to respect angel jackets for making it easier for really anyone to own leather, which is a mission. All of us 80s kids can really appreciate. I want to thank Angel Jackets for providing this Reeves jacket for review. These are my honest opinions as always. If you have experience with Angel Jackets, would you mind just dropping me a comment below? I'd really appreciate it. I'm curious to know what other people's experiences are. And hey, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.